everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing a 2020 Ford Raptor to a 2020 Chevy Trailboss with the 6.2 liter V8. So first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray for providing us with the Trailboss. Check out the information in the link below. Let's just get right into the video. Now let's go into the hoods of both of the trucks. We'll start with the Raptor first and foremost. So under the hood of the Raptor, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 18 on the highway with power outputs being 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. And if you're wondering why the engine bay is so dirty, it's because I actually use the truck for what it's meant for. Anyways, Going over to the Trail Boss, it has a Nachi aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around 10 and then 19 on the highway, so a little bit better on the highway than the Raptor. Power puts 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque, so a little bit less power and torque compared to the Raptor, but V8. Now let's go over the front ends of both of the trucks. Starting with the Raptor, I love the venting there at the top of the hood. It just makes it look a little bit more aggressive. And then this black actually helps accent just like all of the muscular lines there on the top of the hood. Looks really, really solid. Yes, you've got the marker lights on the Raptor because, well, she's a porker. And then I really like the look of the front lights. Ford logo just like absolutely massive there at the front end. And then you've got the tow hooks here down below. They're all blacked out. And then you can see the Fox shocks right there through the front part of the bumper. And that's everything for the front of the Raptor. Now coming over to the Trail Boss, yes, it's a little bit more narrow, but you've got the 6.2 liter badging right there. I actually really like Chevy's headlights. I just think it's like a cool look in general. I love how they do the red tow hooks from the factory. You've got the little fog light just down there below. You've got the Z71 blacked out Chevy bow tie, which is a nice little touch as well. But yeah, there's kind of like your front end look on both of the trucks. Now coming along the side here, let's go over the tire and wheel setup. So starting over here with the Trail Boss, you've got 18 inch wheels, 275 millimeter tires, they're 33s. 17 inch wheels, 315 millimeter tires, they're 35s. So yeah, the Raptor's got a little bit more tire compared to the Trail Boss. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, this is about 10,000 miles on these tires, just so you know, this truck's brand new, so the tires are also brand new, look a whole lot better. But you can see the Trail Boss has a two inch lift from the factory. You can see kind of like the whole setup there at the front. And then with the Raptor, Obviously you can see the shocks right through there. Again, it does have the Fox shocks all around. So there's kind of like the difference with the suspension and that's that part of the front or the side, I mean, sorry. Got the Z71 badging right here. Got this kind of like little venting right there. that looks pretty cool. And then you can see the difference with the shape of the mirrors. And then the Raptor does come with running boards. This one, you can get running boards. This one just doesn't have it. And then you got the Trail Boss logo right there, Raptor logo. That's a lot cooler. Think about like a Trail Boss logo with like claws or something through. I don't know what they would put because like it's not named after an animal, but you could put something cool on it. Now here's the key fobs. This one's for the Raptor. That one's for the Trail Boss. You guys can see that the functions on them are pretty much all of the same. The key fobs just look a little bit different. And then we'll do the remote start function for the Trail Boss. You just have to hold that down after you lock the truck and then it'll start right up. And yeah, 6.2 liter V8 sounds really good. Now, my Raptor does have a coarse exhaust with a resonator delete, so yeah, I just I just have to kind of say that at the beginning before we... That, that's why it's gonna sound a little bit louder. And at this point now, well, let's roll the exhaust clips on both of them. Man, now we're doing that like hand key point of view. Anyways, with the Raptor, you do have a lowering tailgate and with the Trail Boss, you also have a lowering tailgate, which is pretty cool, just the key fob. Now, yes, I know I don't have a bed liner. Again, you guys are giving me enough crap for that. So anyways, you've got LED bed lights here in the back of the Raptor and then notice the cargo light up there because that'll be important later on. And then coming over to the Trail Boss, this one does have a bed liner from the factory, LED lights, and you get a power outlet back here and you actually have a camera up there with the cargo light. Now in terms of the bed itself, lifting up the bed in the Trail Boss, it's really light, easy to get into place. 
Now the Raptor bed is a lot heavier because it has the bed step. You guys have seen this in a million videos before with the Ford bed step. You guys know how it works. But it definitely makes lifting up the tailgate a lot heavier. Now let's finish things up in the rear. So you can see you've got the Chevrolet logo, Silverado there in the back. And then you do have the LED lights here. With the Raptor, you can see that again, you've got more of the marker lights there. Well, there's one of them, the other one's on the other side. And then with the full LED lights, big Ford logo there on the back. And then you can see the difference with the exhaust tips. Again, these are aftermarket exhaust tips, so they're a little bit bigger than the stock ones from the other ones from Corsa. And then over here on the Silverado, you can see kind of like the flattened looking exhaust tips. You do get this little step here on the bumper, which I think is a pretty nice little touch right there. And no bumper step, but again, you do get the bed step thing, so yeah. That's everything for that part of the back. Now we gotta go to the suspension. Well, kind of peeking back here, you can see the shock there in the back of the Trail Boss. And then coming over here at the Raptor, you've got the live valve 3.0 Fox shocks here in the rear, which super great for the off-road. You guys have seen me talk about this all the time. And so, yeah, nothing more to say. Just wanna show you guys the suspension before we head into the rear. Now, popping into the back of the Trail Boss, here's the door panel in the rear of the Trail Boss. And you've got the soft touch here with the stitching, and then you've got the wood all across. And then you can see the seats here in the back of the Trail Boss. Got this little cubby back here, which is definitely a nice little touch. And you can see the rest of the seats. These would be really easy to clean off if you did get them dirty, just because the black coloration is not going to show too much. And then also, just you guys can kind of see just the texture on it. Rubber floor mats all across, storage space underneath the seat itself. And then you can see back here, you've got a little area so you can put a USB and then a 12 volt, couple more cup holders. And there's a little armrest pull out right there. And that's everything for the Trail Boss. Popping over to the Raptor. You guys can see the door panel back here. Eh, the only thing that's cool about it is the little carbon fiber trim. And look, I got my truck clean, guys. So it's actually clean for a review. Anyways, this one has the kind of like suede seats you can see here in the rear. And although they look nice, it's kind of hard to keep them clean. Definitely, I mean, they stain really easy. That's not actually a stain. I can just kind of get that out. It's a little bit of sap, which is annoying, but you guys get what I'm saying. Like these seats, they're a lot harder to clean. If they were all black like this, which you can get in the Raptor, that'd be easier. This is just me kind of like bagging on the Recaros, but you've got rubber floor mats back there and then you've got storage underneath the seat. And then you can see all back here, you've got like heated seats back here and then you've got a power outlet. And I guess I never took the plastic off, but that's okay. More cup holders and that's the rear of the Raptor. Now coming to the front of the Trail Boss, we do have keyless entry. And then you can see the door panel here at the front of the Trail Boss. Again, you've got more of that trim, your window controls. Get your door lock and unlock right there. And then here's the seats for the front. And you can see you've got like the nice stitching right there. Again, black. You've got the adjustments for the seats, pedal layout there below. And then you've got the little hood release, your parking brake controls for the lights and then more light controls, your drive line select and then your drive mode select, which we're actually gonna pop in and we're gonna do a bunch of stuff on the Trail Boss before we head over to the Raptor. Step in height, pretty good. Again, recommend side steps, not too expensive to add, but let's start her up. So I'm gonna go over the interior of the Chevy really quick. If you want a more in-depth look, then check out my Trail Boss review, link in the description. Same thing with the Raptor, Raptor review, link in the description. Anyways, you guys can see all the controls here on the steering wheel, just kind of like that whole look and then the look of the steering wheel. And then here's what the gauges look like in the Chevy Trail Boss. So you can see the RPMs on the left side and the right side, you've got the speed. And then that little center screen, which you can kind of scroll through a couple of different menus on the Trail Boss. And then that drive mode select, you've got the tow haul mode that'll kind of pop over there to the side. And then you've got the rest of the drive mode. So you've got normal sport and then the off-road mode as well. And then coming over here with the backup camera, there we go, popped it into reverse. This is what I was talking about. You've got the cargo camera, which the Raptor does not have. Definitely a nice little touch and you can zoom in if you are hooking up to a trailer. And speaking of the shifter, you can see you've got the plus and minus there. So you can shift the gears yourself. With the rest of the screen, really fast response time on the screen itself. And of course, it decides to freeze on me when I'm in the middle of doing the video. After I just said it has good response time, truck just started up and it's really hot outside. Anyways. You got the controls there for the radio. You've got your dual zone climate controls. And then down here is a bunch of different controls. The ones that people always have the questions on is the auto stops on the parking sensors. If they're illuminated, that means they're on. You only get heated seats here in the trail boss. And then you've got the trailer brake controls right here. Sorry about that. Anyways, you've got the little power outlet and then you've got extra storage right here. A couple of cup holders, center console. And then you can see just in here, you've got more storage space within the center console, dual glove box right over here and then finally popping up 
top, you can see that we do have a sunroof in the trail boss. It's just a regular sunroof here up top. Got the controls for it, so you got a little window control there in the back. And that's everything for the trail boss. Coming out of the Raptor, we get Kia Sentry again, and then here's the door panel in the Raptor. You got that blue stitching that comes with the Recaro package. You got these soft touch right up here, carbon fiber, and then all of your window controls. And then here are the seats. The seats in the Raptor definitely look a whole lot cooler. Again, I recommend getting the black seats. These Recaros look really cool, but if you take it off road, they are harder to keep clean. And then you got your adjustment there on the seat and then the pedal layout. Now getting into the Raptor is super easy with the side steps and I randomly hit my head on that. I don't know why. But anyways, starting up the Raptor, you can see the startup is pretty solid on it as well. Now here's the steering wheel in the Raptor. You get the paddle shifters, which definitely feel really nice to the touch. Blue stitching on this Recaro package and then smooth leather on the steering wheel all around. And then you can see all the controls here on the steering wheel on both sides. It does have adaptive cruise control. That's your drive mode select. That's your steering mode select, which you guys can see here on the gauge cluster is gonna pop up in just a moment. RPMs on the left side, on the right side you've got the speed and then here's the different drive modes so you can see you've got the normal deep sand snow baja rock crawl slippery tow haul sport and then you're back to normal with the steering you have three steering modes you've got your normal you've got your of course it decides to stop working man vehicles today just don't want to work sport and then comfort and those are the three steering modes just above the infotainment system you can see you've got a little camera button you've got your auto stop start you've got the off-road cruise control and the stability control i'm going to blame the 93 degree weather for the infotainment system on both trucks just not working at a uh, top notch i don't know anyways see the infotainment system on this is pretty good you've got navigation with it backup camera is pretty solid you've got the 360 view and you can zoom in right there with the camera as well and other than that you have like the front camera too which is pretty neat there we go front camera you can go like a full view of that and then you have like the side views so that's the infotainment system analog controls for the radio system analog climate controls it is a dual zone climate heated and ventilated seats up front here's your driveline select that's the trailer backup system trailer brake controls and then you can see here you've got more carbon fiber there a couple cup holders got the shifter here with the manual shift function center console which um yeah we're not going to go in there might be some questionable materials inside just kidding it's just a bunch of receipts anyways got the carbon fiber here got the power outlet just down below glove box with less questionable materials and other than that up top here you guys can see that you got a little sunglass holder up here all the auxiliary switches full panoramic sunroof power sliding window and that's everything for the Raptor. Getting the pricing on both of the trucks. So $60,000 sticker price for this one. The Raptor, the sticker price is almost $75,000. So there's about a $15,000 price difference between the two trucks. The Raptor has better suspension, a little bit more at the interior, especially with the air conditioned seats. But that one has a cargo camera and that one doesn't. So there's, I mean, there's some benefits to either truck. Now this one, again, is way more advanced for the off-road. You can jump it, do crazy stuff with it. Whereas this truck is kind of like more of like your basic entry-level off-road truck. So they're not exactly comparable. But here's what I have to say is the Trail Boss, just from like a price point perspective, is definitely going to win today's video. Because, I mean, $15,000 is a lot and you could put everything the Raptor has on for that much. That is going to sum things up with our video comparing the Trail Boss with the 6.2 liter V8 to the Ford Raptor. And again, like I said, super easy to get suspension that would be comparable to the Raptor for a lot less than 15 grand. That's just kind of my thoughts and V8s are awesome. Anyways, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you think. And again, check out Larry H. Miller Chevy and Murray's inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.